Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony Ann and today's video is my quarantine buys. So it will be my quarantine makeup haul. So I have, close enough I guess, <laughs> it's the haul of everything I bought while we've been in quarantine, my arms are shaking. So if you want to see what I bought, then just continue watching. Okay, so I split everything into two ca categories. <laughs> first category is category is impulse buys <laughs> and then the second category is purchases with a purpose all right <laughs> so let's get started so one of my purchases that actually counts for being a quarantine buy is actually my backdrop i have wanted it for so long so that means it falls into purchases with a purpose. <laughs> Next item, I bought the Jack and Hill Volume 2 palette, which I'm sure you guys all know what it looks like, but I'll show you. It looks like this. Can you guess what category it falls into? It was an impulse buy. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with that. Morphe was having a sale and this palette, the 35H, was down from the usual £23 to £14. So I got it. So I bought it alongside the Jack and Hill palette. So that's how I ended up getting it. Otherwise, I never would have bought the Jack and Hill one. But if you want to see me try it out, then let me know down below. And guess what this one was? Impulse buy. <laughs> it was pretty obvious that one. Okay, next I'm gonna go. Should I put the box? I'm gonna put the box on my lap. Crush me, be. Yeah, that makes it easier. Okay, next is my mirror. This is clearly my other one is broken, so this was a replacement. So this purchase was a purchase with a purpose. <laughs> this is a Doll Beauty mirror. Okay, next my Zoeva the Pure Velour 8 Liquid Matte Lipstick. I've done a, a lip swatch video on my Instagram. So if you want to go over there, it's Tonyan underscore Davis. So you can see all the colours and how I make them work for my skin tone just check that out over there i bought this from beauty bay i don't know the lasting power yet but i do really enjoy the colors this one is debatable which category it should go in because i don't i didn't have a lot of i don't have a lot of lip products so it could be in either category but i will put this one in two Impulse buy. Put this in impulse buy. <laughs> Next, I bought these hair headbands. Got it in white, in grey, and the one I've worn on my channel already, black one. This was... It's hard because I wanted it, but did I need it? This was a purchase with a purpose. <laughs> okay, moving on. Got the Dubious Place Normand palette. I've wanted this one for ages because if you don't know, my favorite color, one of my favorite colors is green. And look at the packaging first of all. But yeah, it has loads of greens and yellows and those sort of colours speak to me. The orange, oh, it's beautiful. Did I need it? Debatable. <laughs> so, I would say it's a purchase for a purpose, but really, it is an impulse buy. <laughs> Let me 
time I buy a Juvia's Place palette, I can never just get one. So I also got the Warrior 3 palette. This one I've used on my channel. I used it in my Dreaming Colour series. If you haven't seen that, then I will link it up above so you can check it out in terms of purpose. Here it is, a very rainbow palette. And you can see what I think about it and how it works in my Dream and Colour video. This one was actually bought, it was bought alongside Impulse Buys, but this one was a purchase with a purpose <laughs> because I had planned to film a video with rainbow palettes, my Dream and Colour series, and I needed a couple more rainbow palettes, hence this one. Another purchase with a purpose. This was for, I bought this for my Dream and Colour series. The Mama Mitchell X Beauty Bay Press Pigment Palette. The mirror is here. I bought this also for my Dream and Colour series. I did use it in my Get Ready With Me in that series, which I will link above if you want to see it. I also got the Pop socket that matches the palette matches the palette this came free with the purchase of the face halos um which are these I'm sure you know what a face halo is but it's these little compacts that are sort of like mini flannels that you can use to wipe off your face um they're really good for you know cleaning up eyeshadow um Wiping off eye makeup, especially your under eye, is really good for that because when you're usually cleaning your face, you usually end up having a bit of residue left. Even getting rid of lash glue. I really like it for the eye area, but you know, be careful because of the material, it will irritate your eye if you rub too hard. That's when, when I got the pop socket, but this was, in fact, an impulse buy because I did an order with Beauty Bay and I thought the pop socket was a part of the order because you can add it in and I forgot to so I had to buy something else so that I could get the pop socket in time with the palette but I did want to try it out so oh, what's next what's next Oh, along with the other Juvia's Place palettes, I also got the Warrior, the original Warrior. I've really been enjoying nude palettes. Yeah, but nudes, like really nice brown palettes, I've really been enjoying them of late. And this is one of them that I really wanted. Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I really, really wanted this one. I got it along with the other Juvia's, and as I said, I can never just get one at a time, I have to get a few, but yeah, this was an impulse buy because I didn't buy it for a particular purpose, it's, I just wanted it. So next thing I got was a BH Cosmetics Trendy in Tokyo palette, looks like this, so pretty! You know, if you watch my channel then you know I really love rainbow palettes and this is the epitome of a rainbow palette and I love it. I've used it in a video also, my like Dreaming Colour video and the BH Cosmetics Instagram page liked my picture of the look I did with this so I was very excited. <laughs> and this, what category is it? It is purchase with a purpose. <laughs> got my fan this is another one that's debatable because I did want it to film with but did I need it not necessarily so I'll put it in purchase with a purpose because it has one so all my Too Faced products that I bought these were a purchase with a purpose because I'd planned to do a video which should have been the video just before this one which was a full face of me using makeup brands that start with the letter 
teeth. So, hence Too Faced, the look is currently on my face. So if you wanna see how I did it and what I think of these products, then check that video out. It'll be linked up above. Oh, yeah, and the palette also. This is what I really wanted out of everything, and I used it as an excuse to buy it. Gorgeous! You see, these nude palettes, all of a sudden, I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> so yeah, this was a part of a purchase with a purpose. We're getting low now. There's not that many left. Seeing as it's in my hand, I got the Iconic London Ultimate Face Brush Set. Uh, but did I know it was just 12 brushes? No. I was expecting, especially looking at the size of the bag, you would think there was loads of brushes in there, but not really. Here are all the brushes, still in their plastic. They are very soft, and I'll do a video testing out how good they are, and whether they compare to my Spectrum brushes. But they're very pretty, and, and the bag is very cute. An impulse buy. Like me and my mum were looking at it, and I was just like, ooh, they're so pretty. So, yeah, I had to get it. <laughs> Got the Ordinary Hydrolonic Acid 2% and B. Five. I got the super size version, which is this size. This was when I was trying to do my whole skincare and making it better. Um, so this was a purchase with a purpose, and I think it's really helpful. Like my skin is dry, and especially as the sun is out now, I will need some help retaining hydration and help with my texture. So yeah, now if you look in the box, it's very empty now. There's a few more things. So you see, the boxes look quite dramatic. It wasn't that many things. I also got a lip scrub. Because I, my lips were just... You can see all the cracks, like, the cracks were showing. <laughs> so I got the Peppermint Lip, lip Scrub by Barry M. I think it has been helpful because I've seen a difference appearance wise. I don't know if it's a placebo or what, but I'm enjoying it. And then I got the Makeup Revolution X Soap, all three of the lipsticks, syrup, cake, and fudge. I just got these as replacements for the ones I have already because some of them are broken and all nearly finished so it's just replacements and then alongside that I got lip liners as I was running out and if you check out my video where I did the lip swatches of the Zoeva lipsticks you'll see my very tiny lip liners struggling to, <laughs> to go on so I thought after that video and if you haven't seen it go to my Instagram and check that out it's Tonyan underscore Davis I had to get some lip liners after that. So these were a purchase with a purpose. This is the last thing that I got that I was been waiting for. I got all the P. Louise base for eyeshadow. I got the MUA bundle. And um, so I got 0 0.5 to number five. So I'll show you the lightest one I have and the darkest one I have. And I'll do like a swatch of them on my hand. I didn't do any swatches or anything in this video. I just thought there was a load of stuff, so I didn't want it to be too long. And it, yeah. So this is 0 0.5. Put down that much. You can see that's essentially white. They do have a good range of shades in there. Like they have quite a lot. And then that's number five. There you go. They are thick. Like, <laughs> like thicker than I'm used to for an eye base. Not super thick as in like concealer thick, but like a smidgen away from concealer thick. So the actual purchase of it 
was an impulse buy. So, category is impulse buy. <laughs> this product is also in that same box as well. It's my Artist Couture Diamond Lip Tease. I'll show you my favorite one, which is Le Freak. And I'm in love. Look at this. Look at it. Gorgeous. I would put it on, but no. And it has that sort of nozzle right there. Apply a bit on my hand. Isn't that gorgeous? So you can use these as toppers or you can just use it by itself. I also got four play. I'll show you four play as well, actually. So this is like more of a sheer gold which I'll most likely use this more than the other one as a topper. I would probably wear the other one more by itself. They have their purposes, but just like the P. Louise one, I've looked at them and I've looked at them and just never got them. This has made me want the other ones. <laughs> but I have to admit, this was indeed an impulse buy. Last two palettes, sure yes. These are by Ace Butte. I think that's how you say it. And I've got the Scarlet Dust. Maybe I should have taken them out their boxes before I started filming, but. So I've got the Scarlet Dust one. Gorgeous, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna swatch a few colors in this one. Do that, 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 and that. Let's do the shimmers. Pretty. I can't wait to use this one. <laughs> My hands bare shaking. Yeah, I can't wait to use this one. So pretty. And then I got the Ace Butte Oceanic palette, which is just the blue and green version. Right, pigment boys, getting everywhere. Just the blue version of that palette, slightly bigger as well. Um, I'll swatch a few of these sh the shimmer shades. So that's the blues. <gasps> which one is this one? Which one was this one? <laughs> I don't know which one it was. Oh, look at that. Yeah, bit of me. It's either bay or marina. I think it's marina, this color. Gorgeous. So yeah, I really am very excited about these two palettes, as you can tell. I'm not actually sure why I bought this. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I'll just say it's boredom and I had the money to do it. <laughs> Whack myself, why don't I? This was indeed an impulse buy. I got this Steve Madden watch and jewelry set. Isn't it pretty? Technical problems. There you go. The Steve Madden and um, watch and jewelry set. It was just so pretty that like, it was calling to me and I was just on ASOS and it was on sale and I was like why not treat yourself as if I hadn't bought all those things an impulse buy and I just forgot and this would not have fit in the box anyway I had one more thing that I bought I bought my winter jacket bit of me it's so warm and it's Gorgeous! I love it so much. It's like um, khaki and it's like that brush material. It was more than half price on ASOS and I've had it in my um, wish list for ages. So I had to get it. It was half, more than half price and you know, it's the final thing I bought. Bit of me, like literally I put it on, I was like, <gasps> bit of me, yes. All of it, I want it, all of me. And it's long as well. I got it in the tall section, because I'm 5'8.5. Five, five. But yeah, so that's everything. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Hopefully I haven't wasted as much money as I did this time. <laughs> Bye.